So lucky about that. Yeah, that's just Satan. Satan doesn't want the word to get out. Yeah, we still have a bit more time. Sometimes that will happen. The battle will be to like four. Then there'll be like one below. That's, that's Satan. Doesn't want this word to get out. But you can't stop this word. So yeah, it'll be a redeemed from what the curse of the law. Through you have a shine. This is Romans 3. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified. You can't be justified just by the law. Because if you were justified just by the law, therefore, Yahabashah, that means Yahabashah's sacrifice would be nothing if you were justified by the law within itself. Right? Which we're not justified by that. Right? We're justified by the blood of Yahabashah. That's what justifies you. Not how many laws you keep. Does that mean you don't keep the law? No. Because it says we establish it. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. That's how we acknowledge sin. What's sin? Sin is transgression of the law. Right? But now the righteousness of the Most High without the law is manifested. That's been made known. So can you have righteousness without even keeping the law? Yeah, through faith. Because a lot of them people that were healed, right? In the New Testament, a lot of them wasn't keeping any laws. Any laws at all. Right? But they were still healed through faith. Even the righteousness, excuse me now, but the now of righteousness of the Most High, which is without the law, is manifested being witness of the law and the prophets. Right? Even the righteousness of the Most High, which is by faith of Yahabashai unto all upon him that believe. For there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. So have we not all sinned and come short of the glory of this Yeah, all of us. There's not, there's not one individual on this earth that can say they have not sinned. And it says, verse 24, being justified freely by his grace. So we're justified by grace. We're not justified by any laws we kept. Through the redemption that is in Yahabashah Mashiach. So we're not justified by any laws we've kept. We're justified by the grace that we have in Yahabashah. That's what we're justified by. And that's it. Nothing else. Right? Whom we have set to be appropriation. Right? Through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness through the remission of sins. That are passed through the forbearance of most, most High. So, the sins that are passed mourning. So, the sins that are passed, we have forgiveness of sins through Yahabashai. Our sins are forgiven, cleared up. Okay? Completely. But that's through the faith. Okay? It's not, it's not so how much laws you kept. It's nothing to do with the laws you kept. It's through faith in Yahabashai. And that's it. To declare, I say this time, his righteousness, that he might be just. And that's what we're, that's, we're here to do, declare his righteousness. Not our own. Not the camp's righteousness. Yahabashai's righteousness. That he might be just and the justifier of him that believe in Yahabashai. Right? So who's our justifier? Yahabashai, not man because I've always said this man could love you one day, you're the hot topic and the next day you're the worst thing since sliced bread even though I think sliced bread is tastes alright but that's just a saying okay and it says where, where is boasting then so how can any man in this truth boast how could you boast well um, I keep this law and he doesn't keep that law you can't boast. I've seen men that have done this. You know? I've seen men that, that boast in the law. You know? That come to camp. Oh, let me just pour some water upon my hands. Bro, that don't mean shit. Excuse my language. That, don't, that doesn't mean shit. You can pour water upon your hands all you want. But if your spirit ain't right, you have to try things with the inward man. Not so much with just outward. Right? Because the people, what do they need to know first? Faith. Before they know anything else, they need to know you have a shy. Before even they even 
taught the law, they need to know you have a shy before you teach them all these things. Because the Pharisees knew the law, they were well scripted within the law. But they didn't know you have a shy. <laughs> okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay. By, by, by the law of faith. So Bosnian is excluded by the law of faith that we have. Yeah, that's a law. That's a law. The law of faith. Having faith. That's a law. A lot of men, a lot of men talk about, well, we need to keep all the commandments. Well, you do know it's a commandment to feed the sheep. So if you're talking about keep the commandments, but you can't even do the work. That means you're not, you're not really keeping the commandments, are you? Because the commandment is feed my sheep. That's a commandment. It is excluded by what law? By the works of faith, but no, by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is not justified by faith, but by the deeds of the law. It's like a, therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith. Right? Yeah, you're justified by that. Right? Without the deeds of the law. Is he the power of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles who's going to something else? Yes, because you also have Gentiles that are Israelites that are going to be saved. Right? Why? Because they believe. Right? They believe the record of Yahabai Shem Yahabashai. Right? Therefore, they're going to be saved. Okay? Simple as that. They were called Gentiles because they were living in the land of the Gentiles. Okay. It says, therefore, we conclude that a man is justified is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. And hold on just a minute. See, it is one power which shall justify. Key thing it says, one power. Check the battery. Yeah, we will need to shut off soon. One power. That's what justify. One power. And that's your how you have a shy. Right? It's interesting how these people act that they don't see you, but they really see you. <laughs> okay. And the circumcision by faith. And the circumcision through faith. So the circumcision is by faith. Through faith. And the real circumcision is of mind. Right? The spiritual circumcision, which is more important. Do we then make see do we then make void the law? So Paul was saying now. Yeah, just because you're justified by the faith alone, do you just push away the law and say, no, well, don't keep the law at all, no. Because through you having faith, what are you going to do? You're going to rehearse the law through you having faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? Most I forbid, yeah, we establish the law, right? So yes, we establish it. Okay, I'm gonna have to shut off batteries right now. Lord willing, really, I want, really, I wanted to go on longer, right? But Lord willing, we shut off here. And Lord, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom, keep pushing, keep believing, keep having faith, because we're nearly out of here. Until the next time, shalom.